there was a real bad storm that night, the day he got buried. And I felt in my heart he was mad, looking down <laughs> at all this. And then he says, Mom, he says, get justice for me. <laughs> My son is really big hearted. He always made everybody laugh. He's a character. Oh God, he's a character. <laughs> he always came to check on me because I'm at that age, you know, you know. And he did change his life around. He got locked up for trespassing. He was doing good. He was out for about almost three years. But with these police officers in my heart, they just wanted to get him off the street. I'm like, I don't got no fucking gun, no? Police, they pulled up and everyone jumped out with guns. They were demanding different things. They were so close, like, they could have shot the tire or anything. He wasn't a threat. You can see things on the news, but when you actually see something and you know what happened and it was wrong, and he didn't have no weapon, he wasn't no harm or no threat to nobody, and they just straight shot that man, I've never seen nothing like that. It was surreal. Wrong. What That's you wrong. doing? Oh my gosh, why y'all shooting? shooting it? My kids was out there. And it's wrong for a kid to see something like that, you know what I mean? It was different ways they could have went about that. And it disturbs me, it disturbs my family. My older daughter, she was out there. And when she sees the police, she always tell me, slow down, daddy or the police will shoot you. It's overwhelming. I want to pass a law, the Michael Ramos law. So nobody won't have to go through this. It's got to stop. It's been going on for a very long time. And I want a new law to pass where to where this happens, that they're taken away right away, prosecuted, and taken away for murder. It's, it's murder. I, I want it to be better than, you know, my coming up and what I think and my judgment of police officers is or whatever that may be. I want my children to have a, a positive relationship with law enforcement and know that they are initially here to protect you. It shouldn't be something scary. But till we change our hearts and the way we treat others, the discrimination and prejudice, it, it, no, we can't make nothing better. I still think he's here sometimes because I catch myself looking out the window. He's coming. And I have to tell myself he's not here. And a mother to have one single child, you know, one. Not two, three, four, but for one, I miss him. It hurts, and it's going to hurt for a long time. <sighs>